What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Let me ask you guys a question. Handheld gaming, how do you feel about it? I know a lot of people are going to say, eh, I don't really game on the go that much. I think the Nintendo Switch is going to change that for a lot of people. But, what is one of the reasons that a lot of people don't game on the go? For the most part, it's because you can't get that console quality experience on the go. Now just imagine, I know a lot of you guys have huge Steam libraries, tons of games that you've bought over the years. Imagine being able to play that on the go. How would that even possibly work? Someone is making it a reality. I'll drop a link in the description because today we're going to be talking about Smash Z, the new handheld that is a PC on the go. I'll drop a link in the description. Smash Z, handheld games console with serious graphics power. For some time, handheld gaming was dominated by console-driven companies. The classic Nintendo Game Boy, Sega's Game Gear, and Sony's PSP. It wasn't until the rise of sophisticated smartphone technology that handheld gaming shifted away from these manufacturers towards a more PC-friendly realm. As the Apple app and Google Play stores continue to grow their games portfolio, true handheld PC gaming machines have been few and far between. That is until Smatch, a Spain-based gaming company releases its palm-sized gaming PC, Smatch Z, that can play thousands of Steam games. While a fully portable console like this may bring with it comparisons to the forthcoming Nintendo Switch, the Smatch Z actually predates this product. Smatch had originally announced the Smatch Z, then under the name Steam Boy, back in mid-2015, with an intended release date this year. Now, after a few delays and a successful Kickstarter campaign, it seems that the Smatch Z is back on track to becoming a real ship piece of hardware. The Smatch Z runs off AMD's Merlin Falcon RX 421BD system with an integrated Radeon R7 GPU, which Smatch claims is enough to run graphically demanding PC games like Overwatch or Skyrim, albeit in 720p and at 25 to 30 frames per second. The base model of the Smatch Z has 4GB of RAM and a 64GB hard drive, while the more advanced Smatch Z Pro doubles the RAM to 8 gigs and the hard drive space is at 128 gigabytes, plus it adds a front-facing camera and 4G connectivity. Both models feature an integrated 720p screen and haptic touchpad controls that are very much inspired by Valve's Steam controller. The Smudge Z handheld game console is currently reaching out to funding via its campaign on, on Indiegogo. Okay guys, I'll drop a link in the description. You guys click on that link if you'd like to help uh, with this Kickstarter on Indiegogo. They've already reached their goal. This thing is already going to happen. I think they've doubled their goal. It's actually really incredible. I know a lot of people say, well, it's not 1080p. 720p on a little tiny screen is, it, is beautiful, okay? You don't notice it. If it's on a small screen, it can be less than 720p and it'll still look to you like a 1080p image because it's smaller. You don't need all the pixels. But it sounds like this thing is going to be damn incredible. I don't know exactly what they're asking for it. I've heard rumors of 250 if they're asking for $250 for basically having a Steam machine in the palm of your hand, and you can play up to 2,000 Steam games on the day of launch, is what they're saying. Once this thing launches, there'll be 2,000 games on Steam ready to play right then and there. That will be huge, especially for people who enjoy PC gaming more so than console gaming. <laughs> this is just a win-win. The thing looks actually really nice. Uh, it does remind me a little bit more of the Wii U gamepad than maybe the PlayStation Vita, but for what they're packing inside, you really can't blame them. There's a lot going on with this thing. Uh, of course, this, is, this will be the first iteration, and if it's successful, uh, this might be the first of many iterations. I don't mind at all seeing companies like this company, Smotch, trying something new, trying to create something for a demographic of people who've never been reached out to. The PC gaming community has never had a PC gaming system on the go. That's completely new, never happened before, and if it's able to run PC games at 25 to 30 frames per second, hey man, sign me up. That would be incredible. You guys let me know what you think of the Smudge Z in the comments below. Have you ever heard anything like this before? This is my first time hearing about it. I'm actually really excited about this thing and possibly going to swing over to the Indiegogo myself and see if I can throw down a few bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it or you found it informative at all, please leave a like. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you guys can support the channel by clicking on the support link at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.